Hello again. What you can see here right now is a topic started by JP86II, where he shows off his latest, well, I don't know how to call this type of piston elevator. Uh, well, basically it's a very simple construction. Half of the pistons get activated by a constant signal which starts at the bottom and goes to the top. The other half of the pistons get activated by those pressure plates on the fence post. Very simple, very fast and very resource efficient. But I thought the idea of, uh, of using pressure plates on fences is too good to just use it for this one design, so I tried myself. And uh, this was my first try. idea behind this is to use the pressure plates for all pistons on one level, so it's an asynchronous elevator where each level will wait for the player to activate. You don't have to worry that your signal activates the top while you're still stuck in the middle. Small disadvantage in this design it's slow. And that's because I don't wanted to use more resources. I wanted to make it more compact. If you make it faster, uh, you will need a lot more resources, I guess. Well, doesn't matter because I made another design. It's a classical zipper elevator, but with, again, pressure plates on fences. You can see it all in here. Pretty simple idea, again it's asynchronous so each piston will wait for the player to reach the pressure plates. It works pretty good. Um, I have to use a delay of at least two ticks before the pressure plate, pressure plate can activate a piston, otherwise I will get stuck somewhere around the third or fourth level. I don't know why. Maybe because my computer is slow, but maybe it's the problem of the design itself. Please try it out and let me know. Well, yeah, that's everything I want to show you today. Uh, thanks to JP for this awesome idea. And thanks to you for watching.